Good evening on Monday, May 4th, from St. John's Episcopal Church in our annex in South Portsmouth, Virginia. We will be observing evening prayer right two, which can be located in order of worship, for which can be located in the link in the description below this video. Or if you would like to follow in the Book of Common Prayer, we will begin on page 116. Evening Prayer, right two, and we will recite Psalm 44, which will begin on page 645 in the Book of Common Prayer as part of our worship. Evening prayer right two. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel. My heart teaches me night after night. I have set the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I shall not fall. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Together. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Continuing. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Continuing with Fos Hilaron, or O Gracious Light, on page 118. O Gracious Light, pure brightness of the ever living Father in heaven. O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed. Now, as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices. O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the world. We will recite Psalm 44 together, beginning on page 645 in the Book of Common Prayer, or page 11 in the Order of Worship. We have heard with our ears, O God, our forefathers have told us, the deeds you did in their days, in the days of old, how with your hand you drove the peoples out, and planted our forefathers in the land. How you destroyed nations and made your people flourish. For they did not take the land by their sword, nor did their arm win the victory for them. But your right hand, your arm, and the light of your countenance, because you favored them. You are my king and my God. You command victories for Jacob. Through you we push back our adversaries. 
through your name we trampled on those who rose up against us. For I do not rely on my bow, and my sword does not give me the victory. Surely you gave us victory over our adversaries, and put those who hate us to shame. Every day we gloried in God, and we praised your name forever. Nevertheless, you have rejected and humbled us, and do not go forth with our enemies. You have made us fall back before our adversaries, and our enemies have plundered us. You have made us like sheep to be eaten and have scattered us among the nations. You are selling your people for a trifle and are making no profit from the sale of them. You have made us the scorn of our neighbors, a mockery and derision to those around us. You have made us a byword among the nations, a laughing stock among the people. My humiliation is daily before me, and shame has covered my face. Because of the taunts of mockers and blasphemers, because of the enemy and avenger, all this has come upon us. Yet we are not for, we have not forgotten you, nor have we betrayed your covenant. Our heart never turned back nor did our footsteps stray from your path. Though you thrust us down into a place of misery and covered us over with deep darkness, if we have forgotten the name of our God or stretched out our hand to some strange God, will not God find it out? For he knows the secrets of the heart. Indeed, for your sake we are killed all the day long, and accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Awake, O Lord, why are you sleeping? Arise, do not reject us forever. Why have you hidden your face and forgotten our affliction and oppression? We sink down into the dust, our body cleaves to the ground. Rise up and help us, and save us for the sake of your steadfast love. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Colossians. Wives, be subject to your husbands, as is fitting in the Lord. Husbands, treat, love your wives and never treat them harshly. Children, obey your parents in everything, for this is your acceptable duty in the Lord. Fathers, do not provoke your children, or they may lose heart. Slaves, obey your earthly matters in everything, not only while being watched and in order to please them, but wholeheartedly fearing the Lord. Whatever your task, put yourselves into it, as done for the Lord and not for your masters, since you know that from the Lord you will receive the inheritance as your reward. You serve the Lord Christ, for the wrongdoer will be paid back for whatever wrong has been done, and there is no partiality. Masters, treat your slaves justly and fairly, for you know that you have a master in heaven. Devote yourselves to prayer, keeping alert in all in it with thanksgiving. At the same time, pray for us as well that God will open to us a door for the word, that if we may declare the mystery of Christ for which I am in prison, so that I may reveal it clearly as I should. 
conduct yourselves wisely towards outsiders, making the most of the time. Let your speech always be gracious, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how you ought to answer everyone. Tychicus will tell you all the news about me. He is a beloved brother, a faithful minister, and a fellow servant in the Lord. I have sent him to you for this very purpose, so that you may know how we are and that he may encourage your hearts. He is coming with Onesimus, the faithful and beloved brothers, who is one of you. They will tell you about everything here. Aristarchus, my fellow prisoner, greets you, as does Mark, the cousin of Barnabas, concerning whom you have received instructions. If he comes to you, welcome him. And Jesus, who is called Justice, greets you. These are the only ones of the circumcision among my co-workers for the kingdom of God, and they have been a comfort to me. Ephrathus who is one of you, a servant of Christ Jesus, greets you. He is always wrestling in his prayers on your behalf, so that you may stand mature and fully assured in everything that God wills. For I testify for him that he has worked hard for you and for those in Laodicea and in Heropolis. Luke, the beloved physician, and Demas, Greet you. Give my greetings to the brothers and sisters in Laodicea, and to Nympha and the church in her house. And when this letter has been read among you, have it read also in the church of the Laodiceans, and see that you also read the letter from Laodicea. And say to Eurycopus, See that you complete the task that you have received in the Lord. I, Paul, write this greeting with my own hand. Remember my chains. Grace be with you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response is the Song of Simeon, found on page 120. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Continuing with the Apostles' Creed on page 120. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. In the words our Savior Christ, has taught us we now pray. 
our Father in heaven. Hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We will recite Suffrages B in response to each bidding is we entreat you, O Lord. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. We entreat you, O Lord. That your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. We entreat you, O Lord, that we may be pardoned and forgiven of our sins and offenses. We entreat you, O Lord, that there may be peace to your church and to the world. We entreat you, O Lord that we may depart this life in your faith and fear and not being condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. We entreat you, O Lord, that we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of all your saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. We entreat you, O Lord, The colic for protection. O oh God, the life of all who live, the light of the faithful, the strength of those who labor, and the repose of the dead. We thank you for the blessing of the day that is past, and humbly ask for your protection through the coming night. Bring us in safety to the morning hours. Through him who died and rose again for us, your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. A colic for those who are sick and those who minister to them. Gracious God, source of life and health, Jesus came to our disordered world to make your people whole. Send your spirit on those who are sick and all who minister to them, that when the sick enter your peace, they may offer thanks to your great name. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. A prayer for mission. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or reap this night and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous and all for your love's sake. Amen. Continuing together with the prayer of St. Chrysostom, together. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. 
May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God bless you and keep you this night and in the coming days. Amen.